Hello, everybody. This is um, <clears throat> You Can't Stop God, my, uh, my channel, uh, Douglas Butler, and this is my lovely, lovely wife, Lisa Rucker Butler. Her channel, Don't Believe the Hype, comes soon. Come soon. Um, the reason why we're doing this video is because, you know, it's got something to do with, uh, you know, two types of women. You got good, righteous women, and you got bad you know wicked disrespectful wives and you know and 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 everything so um and you know and i'm gonna have her um you know read you know read some scriptures and stuff like that and and you know like after we you know after she you know discusses that and everything because she because she knows you know how to be a good godly wife in mm. and um you know i definitely definitely appreciate her and she is special and Aww. she is a gift from god thank you babe. so mm -hmm. and you know y'all know um all my testimonies and stuff in and, and, and you know like she and, you know she uh loves me no no matter no matter what and mm -hmm. um you know at you know at times that you know i was kind of uh hesitated for a minute but then and, and then not and, and then not you know the lord says uh go right ahead uh, you, mm -hmm. marry her and, and everything because i because you know and um and now you know we married um uh you know since um February 14th, the, February 14th and mm -hmm. and uh i think it's gonna be like six or seven months seven yes and um um and Almost a year. <laughs> Almost a year, and you know our marriage is, is it, you know, it's going, it's going good. But I will, I yeah. will be honest with you. Every, every uh, marriage relationships go ahead and ups and downs, but we do work it out. We do talk it out, uh -huh. and no matter what, you know, I'm not going nowhere. She ain't going nowhere. So, so I'm gonna have, I handed this uh, to y'all, especially you women out there, you, the ones that's. Uh, you know, um, doing your man wrong or or, or whatnot, <clears throat> she's gonna um, give you some lesson. But for us, the good ones out there, you know, for us, uh, you know, the nationality that women, I ain't talking to you because, um, you know, I'm not seeing all women, but you know, a lot of y'all needs to quit, you know mistreating your man and, and and this and they quit you know doing all the stuff that you ain't supposed to be doing so i'm ahead in the head is to her go ahead baby okay there's a difference between the two type of women in general in general is the godly woman her main focus is on worshiping god amen amen and going to church Compares and contrasts. I like to do that sometimes. And the worldly woman, her focus and her mindset is still of the world. You know, you know, uh, they focus on worldly things, which is you know, earthly toys. Not that godly women don't want that, but. It's not that we make a big deal about it and dwell on it. And because we put the Lord first and foremost, that's what's important. Then if you put him first and foremost, then everything else in your life will fall in place. Amen. Amen. That's right. So, well, and also, and, and the, the worldly woman, her mindset is still on partying, nightlife gambling and you know doing worldly things like i just said and also the godly woman she loves her fellow mankind for the most part with you know and also the worldly woman mostly has a cutthroat mentality everybody for themselves that's what i mean by that and in general Godly women are humble and kind. 
Well, worldly women are quick to be angered. And as far as the roles of them two, as far as a wife, the, like I said before, the godly woman put the Lord, our God, first and foremost, before her own self, before her husband. That's what she's supposed to do. Amen. Amen. And before her own children. He's supposed to be first and foremost. And also, she, as far as family, she teaches her family Christian values of how to pray, how to live, or by scripture. While the worldly woman, the wife, as far as being a wife, teaches family about the school of hard knocks, survival of the fittest. Otherwise, street smarts. Not that the godly woman don't teach her kids how to be smart when it comes to, you know, of this world. But this is, they don't, only difference with that is that the worldly wife, they don't focus on God. That's what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. Now, as far as choosing you gentlemen out there who wants to choose uh, Sir Lord, a worldly woman is not going to work for you or vice versa. A godly woman who wants to choose a partner, a worldly man is not going to work for you because at most points, y'all going to clash. As far as y'all beliefs, you know what I mean? They may, You might want them to be with you to go to church. They may not want to do that. I pretty much mostly go to church with my husband every Sunday. Lately, because I worked a lot of shifts, so we got goals. But I'm going back to church every Sunday. And that's what that's what I do. And also, and as far as the um, worldly woman, as um, far as wife, you know, I don't think that that would be a good fit with a godly man because, or vice versa, like I just said. It's just will be a problem because they're not their mentality is not where you are. They still got them out of the world. You trying to make make it your salvation, make it to your salvation, and live by scripture. They don't want to do that, and that's going to be a problem. Go ahead. I'm reading um, Proverbs chapter uh, thirty one, and it says, "Who can find the virtuous woman?" For her price is far above rubies. Her heart of her husband does safely trust in her so that he should have no need of support. That means that, you know, like I put my whole heart, I trust my beautiful wife right mm -hmm. here. Understand? That's what it's mean, you know. You know, uh, mm -hmm. and. Gotta um, trust each other. And um, also, you know, it says, you know, she would do him good and not evil all the days of her life. So, uh -huh. you know, which means that uh, you don't, um, you know, a good wife will uh, lift her husband and 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 uh, encourage him to do right and not not wrong and, and whatnot. So, uh -huh. and you know, I have you know, I have another. I got another verse for you. It's uh, twelve verse four. talks about 12 verse 4 it says a virtuous woman is a crown to her husband i'm yep so you are crown to me oh thank you but she that makes it a shame it's the rottenness of his bones now that's the uh the uh, flip side of it that's the 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 disrespectful one that's uh rottenness to the husband's bones and everything right so mm -hmm. and that's and that's what that is, and um, and 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 we and, and, and um, and First Peter mm -hmm. three seven because like, like I said, I'm gonna have her uh, you know, read 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 the other part. Okay, I'm sorry um, about me. I'll read it. Okay, all right. That's uh, First Peter three. <laughs> Yep, 
Yep, uh, if you know some of you ladies out there, if you understand, then hey, I'm telling you, you, you know, um, you know, this is coming from my my wife, so you can't say that, uh, oh, oh, I'm just this, I, I'm that, <laughs> you know, that's right. So. <laughs> and then getting back to godly people and uh, people of the world, as far as them being made, you know, the worldly person want to party. Why the godly person don't want to do all that stuff no more because it's you know they don't want to be out in the world where there's a bunch of sand and everything. Not that godly people don't have fun because we have fun. There's other ways of having fun. Um, you know, you can go to um, the movies, go traveling, um, exploring different cities. I mean, it's a lot of us, it's, it's stuff to do out there instead of being part of the nightlife and. It's a lot of trouble in the, in, in the nightlife. Am I right? Exactly. People on the news getting shot random. It's happening. Just watch the news. You know, anybody can get shot anywhere, but it's just it's a lot of problems in that type of uh, worldly environment. So, mm-hmm. you know, so it's just it's just like it's going to be a lot of clashing, you know. Go ahead, honey. No, nah, you got um, First Peter chapter... Three verse seven. Likewise, you husbands dwell with them according to knowledge, and give honor to the wife, as to the weaker vessel, and as to being heirs together of the grace of life. That had your prayers not be hindered, meaning that that um, you know, you dwell with your wives, your your good wives, you know, as a uh, you know, and giving the honor to her, you know, as a we could vessel it everything in, uh, you know, because I, you know, dwell with my beautiful wife, understand? Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, you know, as a we could vessel, but at the same mm-hmm. time, she's strong, understand? Yeah. You know, she's strong and she, you know, she can be be rough at times, but she's sweet and she, uh, you know, uh, you know when, when she uh, want to be a lioness, uh, you know, she well, can, can be, but, so. you know, I, I try to be humble. <laughs> Man, so and that's what this verse is talking about. Um, because you are heirs together for us the kingdom of God, too. Mm-hmm. So that's a good thing about that. So Amen. So you got a verse for me to read? Yeah, I want you to read uh um first I want you to read Proverbs 21 19. Mm-hmm. Cause like I said, you know, it's gonna come from my wife, you know. That's right. 2119. Right here. 2119. Mm-hmm. It is better to dwell in the wilderness than with a conscience contentious, oh, excuse me, and an angry woman. Yeah. Tell her what that means, man. That means that somebody who's like, if they husband come home for a hard day work and instead of saying, Hey, honey, how's your day? Like, that's what I do with him. Mm-hmm. You want to chew him out about leaving the seat up from this, from the morning, you know, earlier that morning, you know, before he left out for work. I mean, that stuff is petty. Men do that. Get over it. You know what I'm saying? That's just something us women, you know, got to get used to. That's what they do. It is not that deep. And I just feel that if you that angered over some petty stuff like that, it's more to the story. Come on, ladies or gentlemen. Amen. Don't kid yourself. Nobody will. I know this is a little bit off topic, but maybe it's not. Nobody will go off over petty stuff unless there's something else that's going on with the relationship. Unless you got your mind on somebody else or just tired of that person. We're just relating the same thing. Come on now, ladies. You know? Or you taking your past hurts out on that your husband or your wife. It's not fair. And a godly woman won't do that. You know? You know, godly woman... We try to live by scripture and be forgiving when the worldly woman won't forgive. Mm-hmm. She'll hold mm-hmm. against you. And getting back to that. As far as a worldly woman, she might be into 
smoking weed and drugs, black and miles yeah, and all yeah, the other stuff. Yeah. Golly person, like, no, nah, no, nah, honey, I can't be rolling with that. You know, she might want to go to casino, gamble and everything. You may not want to do that. See, the worldly person want to do things that a godly person would want to do because y'all are two different, different yes. opposites. Yes. They are night and y'all godly people, us godly people are they total opposites. So a relationship with that, I don't know if that's going to last too long. <laughs> Am I right? Exactly. Now, um, mm-hmm. read um, chapter 14 and 1 of, of Proverbs. Every wise woman builds her house, but the foolish pluck it down with her hands. That's plenty. A wise woman going to build up her house. That means that she's going to, first of all, be prayerful. That's building, starting that seed right there, or planting that brick, you know, into the ground when you pray. And as you continue to pray, what works, then that foundation, whatever you try to ask God for, and in His own time, will bless you. With that's what that means. That's what I got out of it. Amen. So, but um, I'm just saying it's just best for Christians. Godly people to marry those of like mind. Amen. Amen. What else you got to say about that? All right. Um, Proverbs 7 11. Okay. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. What does that mean? She is loud and st- stubborn. I'm like, okay, that means she's um, bitter about a lot of stuff. Anger. What could you explain it more? As far as uh, uh, the she, part her her where feet, she, feet abide not in her home. Her her feet abides not. You know, the first application is her feet is not uh, abide in a guy's house, and the second application is that is you know her feet is not abide in her own home where her husband is at. You know, so mm-hmm. and uh, um. She just want to, you know, run at the mouth, you know, over some, some foolish or whatnot. So, you know, that's what that's uh, talking about, you know, and, uh, and, uh, and this is, hey, you know, this is uh, what it is. That's what the word of God says. And, uh, I want you to read 9 verse 13. A foolish woman is commerce. She is simple and no, nothing. What that mean? Anytime you see the word fool, that means somebody is not <laughs> not knowledgeable of something. That's what I got, got yeah. out of it. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, um, a woman uh, claiming that, you know, she's, you know, um, got all the degrees, got all the this and all the that, and, uh, and don't and don't have a heart, you know, for, for her husband, you know, and, uh, and she don't have a heart for God first and foremost. And, um, mm-hmm. she, you know, and I want to, uh, argue about this, argue about that, claiming that she's something when she's, when she's nothing, you know, you know, like when she knows nothing. And, uh, and Galatians 6, 3 says, you thinking that you're something when you're nothing. Deceiving, uh, he deceiving himself, and you know that goes for the one with two and uh, everything. And uh, and uh, you know I'm gonna go to the last, last verse, yeah. uh, the last chapter, which is First Timothy, and uh, you know, First Timothy chapter five, verse uh, fourteen, and I want you to read fourteen and fifteen. I will therefore that. Uh... Younger women marry, bear children, guide the house, give none, well, give none, I cannot see give that none. close. Give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. For some are already turned aside after Satan. What that mean? In other words, some are turned aside after Satan. That means they are doing the works of Satan. Yep. Yeah. And uh, 
it also it means it's like when uh, a woman, you know, has a, you know, has a, a home, and she loves to be with her husband and uh, got a home or whatnot, and then she got some so-called friends that's telling her, "Girl, what you, what you doing at home? Mom? What you, uh, what, what that man do for you, girl? Would you come to the club with us, girl? And and see that, mm-hmm. see, 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 that's what we reproachfully means that means disapproval." And then also with that in mind that that some of them women may not even be married, you know, and that's taking her out of her house away for her husband. I don't think that should be single women and married women mm, as far as friends. Uh, that's kind of like a clash in itself as far as hanging out. Because one of them are trying to look for somebody, but somebody, the other one already got somebody. Yeah. So and then that can cause problems for the ones that are hanging out with these single women going to a nightclub, you know, and they married. That can cause problems with the husband or vice versa. Okay. Anything else you'd like to say? Yeah, and uh, you know, you know, that's the uh, you know, the few verses that, you know, we uh read uh, to y'all about. I mean, you know, you, I mean there's more and everything and uh see the reason why, you know, we're doing this video is because um, you know, um, you got women out here that has been corrupted. Good women have been corrupted by evil women. Uh, First Corinthians fifteen thirty three says, "Do not be deceived. Our uh, bad com- bad company corrupts good morals, good manners." In uh, other words, listen to their friends. Or, you know, it's like you shouldn't be here. You shouldn't do this that. And then once she is she stupid enough to listen, like I said in the previous video, then. And, and that man gone by his way because he's getting tired of the negativity. Then her friends probably laughing about her, her their her back like aha yeah she 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 is the same boat as we are. Yes. Some of them don't have men. Yes, that you is know they pull her you. from her happiness and you know they weren't really friends in the first place. That's why you gotta be very careful who you call mm-hmm. a friend. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? A real true friend would be happy for you know. Uh, for you and a real true friend and knowing that you married and got a husband will be trying to go out with you at night anyway because that could cause a problem to marriage they will respect your marriage and, and also yeah. uh, also a true friend once they see somebody um you know messing with your husband or or, or, or whatnot will will say well, well you know um if something's wrong here i'm you know a real friend would will look out for you. Mm-hmm. Where an evil woman or or dude will will um do something to try to cut you know to um cause they mm-hmm. jealous. So exactly. that's I mean that's a big difference. Um mm-hmm. you know they they say one thing and and they you know that they ain't got nobody then uh they they try to break you all up and whatnot and mm-hmm. see Miss Little Company. And my vice y'all Satan is never your friend. Never. Anything else you want to add? Um, one last thing. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, this is um the topic that me and my wife, you know, want to discuss and uh mm-hmm. and uh hopefully some of y'all listen, take heed, repent of your sins and mm-hmm. you know, no, nah, if you got if you got a husband that's good to you, you treat him right. You treat him good. Mm-hmm. I could say the same thing about the husbands, you know, for real. Mm-hmm. So, and uh, that's it. So, all right, y'all stay blessed. Again, Satan is never your friend. Y'all take care.